Post commentary purple coins time. So at the very, very bottom left building, also known as Southwest, I guess you could say, there are these two purple coins over the edge between the billboards. So I'm gonna give you a little peek see at the map here really quick just so that yeah, it's way over there by the park, left of the park there, and then I warped over to the New Dong City Hall because I seen something at a distance. Go all the way up here. And I mean all the way up here, and there are the last three purple coins for 100% Metro Kingdom completion. Well, aside from the purple coin shop, of course. And now for the jump rope glitch. Gotta get some things set up here. Get that A out of the way so the I can be plopped over there. And now get the R and put it all the way into the corner. I'm gonna do a little demonstration here, though. Normally, you cannot get these letters outside a certain invisible barrier. See that? See that? Well, just wedge it all the way over in the corner as far right and up as you can go over there. And now go ahead and grab the A. I was looking at the letters like, which one was the A again? Okay. <laughs> and now you gotta put the A next to the R, also wedging it right up against there as tight as you possibly can, something like that. And now grab the M and put that all the way up against the R, but instead of it being like facing the R, put it sideways to the R and also wedge it in the corner as well. Like as if the R is the upper barrier and the invisible wall is the right side barrier. So something like that basically. Now grab the scooter. This is the hardest part of the whole thing. Out of my way, guy. <laughs> what we do here is we try and land the scooter just on the edge of the M where that question mark thing is, and then it'll flip over and like vertically and lean up against the M. It'll like roll down the side and lean up against it. Very awkward to do, but if you do it, it'll look just like that. <laughs> Now grab the M, Now you notice before I couldn't get the M further left, now I can because the scooter is pushing it. As a matter of fact, I'm not holding the analog stick at all at this point, because the scooter is pushing it into the R like that. Now grab the R, and with the A out off to the side and the M pushing it, the R has no other place to go except outside the barrier. Now go inside the jump rope for the glitch, and jump out after the rope passes you, like so. And then you just stand on here for approximately 12 hours, and you will be able to get that counter up to 99,999 for that world record like a pro. But, you know me, I'm no cheater, so I'm not gonna do this. <laughs> And now we resume to live commentary. Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough as promised. Since we got all the coins, we can buy everything. And I am most certainly going to be wearing the NES Tournament Golf set here. At least I think that's where it's from. I've never played the game before, but I'm pretty sure that's... Because I, I think... Yeah, I think that's the name of the game, actually, but yeah, mm -hmm. it's surprising that I actually haven't played that game before, come to think of it, since it's like the original Mario Golf Delio, and yeah, I might have to pick that up a little bit later. <laughs> and finally, the last awesomeness, and Mario changes in front of everyone, no problem. Yeah! Yeah! Everything is bought, and why didn't I just warp out of there? I'm not sure. All I know is this place is now 100%ed. Yes! Yes! No moons to deposit this time, though. <laughs> so, as what Peach said here, she wanted to go to the Seaside Kingdom next, so... Off we go to the Seaside Kingdom. And there's gonna be a lot of stuff to collect here. This is another big place. Probably not as complex or as difficult to find everything in as the Metro Kingdom, but there's a lot of little nooks and crannies and stuff like that, as you know, since I have some stuff missed in some places. But as I said, I got had to come back here later anyway. Moon Rock here is glowing too. Let's be sure to check that. 
I shall instantly, as a matter of fact, I can actually warp to it. For once, it's usually like somewhere decently far away from the checkpoint flags, but not this time. Here we go. Crack. Snapple. Pop. Wait a second. No, that's not. Hmm. That's not how it goes. Well, it explodes, sends moons everywhere. That's all that's important, right? <laughs> so let's investigate those newly marked X's that you'll see in a moment, I suppose. I'll probably start where I am right now, because it's like from one one side to the other. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Oh, yes. So what is directly behind us? Uh, I think it's... Oh, actually. <laughs> it could be something like way up. Oh, that's... Oh, that's just sitting there. <laughs> that's... I don't know, it's kind of lazy. <laughs> Whoops. I was just gonna do a ground pound to give myself a little extra height here, if you don't mind. Boing! There we go! Above the parasol. Catch! Yeah, there's... Yeah, there's not... Some... Some moons in this game do remind me of the green stars in Galaxy 2 in that, in that sense. Oh, and that's... I bet this one right here that was just sitting in the middle of nowhere. I betcha that was a bird. Anyway, new dialogue. <laughs> yes, it is. You can just cook everything in this sparkling water. That guy is obsessed with seeing some of your f someone fly from here to the glass palace. Everyone likes different stuff, I guess. So you got to do a little flight with glide on, I suppose. I, I guess I'll do that now since I got the. The dialogue going on there. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Hey there! I'm at the Glass Palace! Well, how do you like this? I did it! Yeah! Your flight was truly an amazing sight to behold! Please take this as a token of my gratitude. Yeah! Yeah! Lighthouse Leaper! Your majestic flight will be scorched forever into my eye stalks! <laughs> Uh, I'm back over here. I'll just ha hang out around that area and see what I can collect. Okay, there's probably all that stuff that I can collect, but details! <laughs> so, timer challenge. I'm just gonna do like a really massive long jump here. And probably a hat jump to- oh, that's right, I can't hat jump. But I'll be able to make it in time anyway, there we go. It's like whenever I don't have my hat, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Timer challenge three, however, is complete. Yeah, I guess I'll flop back on over here. Just kind of like start from the lower area. I mean, the higher area down to the lower area. Excuse me. Uh, actually, I could have just jumped down here, couldn't I? I don't remember if there's anything new in like the lighthouse. I mean, windmill area. But wait, is that the bird? That's fl yeah, it's flying around here. There it is. Can I get this sucker? Nah, it's just a little too high. But I'm, I might just jump down from on top of the the windmill there and just kind of have a field day with that, <laughs> if possible. Uh, I'm just trying to zero in on this. It's not on top of this pole, is it? Is it? Could be. Well, it's not not a pole. I should say it's a support beam. Oh, oh. Mm. I thought I heard something. Well, I mean, that was the, must have been the music sparkling. But okay, yeah, it is up there. So wait, wait a minute. <sighs> I was gonna warp back up there, but <laughs> I think I don't know if you're supposed to like put your hat on the top of the pole or if you're supposed to ground pound that. We're gonna find out though. But yes, I do remember the pole at least. <laughs> okay, so is it the hat? Yes, it's the hat. I wonder if you could get with a ground pound as well, I don't know. Anyway, I got this one. Checked off my list. A light next to the windmill. And I'm gonna take a peek down here. Let's see... Wait, did it just pass by? Because I just seen the sparkle and... Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> uh, wait. Not too- oh, I was gonna say, not two at the shop, that can't be! 
We, <laughs> we already bought one there. It's impossible. Like, it's only one unique moon per shop giblet. And anyway, of course, like before, I'm gonna just go over the poop and see if there's anything over the edges and stuff like that because that's usually a pretty good hiding spot for said stuff, but nah, not this time. <laughs> Alright, so you got moving doors. Well, actually, maybe we should start over here. Moving doors from Pokemon. Wait, oh, the, I thought that was on the. Never mind. <laughs> I don't know why I was thought it was on that one. But yeah, we got the moving doors from Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald. And thus, we've got to puzzle it up at these sort of kind of like transition points. Well, actually, how do you do this pooper? Am I supposed to like... Ah, oh, okay. That makes more sense. Ah! I shelled myself! <laughs> like I'm throwing a green shell in Mario Kart. Ah! Dang it. Out of my way, guys. I don't have the means to kind of kill them like I usually kill them. Since I don't have the powers of the piranha, but... Okay, we're good. <laughs> oh, no, we're not good! <laughs> well... I wanted to go back to this, the beginning anyway, just as long as, you know, my my moon shards don't reset or anything like that. That was all on purpose. Yes. <laughs> anyway. And there we go. Should be simple enough to just grab that with my hat. And there she is. Where's the secret moon in here, then? If it's not around, the, like, the tops and the... Hmm... I guess they're about to find out. Maybe. Ah! Oh, blind! Evil trap! <laughs> Spinning maze search! What's when there's a colon? There's probably another moon. Okay, there is another moon. What if I killed all the spinies by knocking them down the holes? Ah! Well, that's certainly not gonna help my spiny quest. Oh, I see! It's not the spinies. Aha! There's a little sneaky hole in the, the, yeah, the spinning revolving doors there on that one specific spot. Ah, uh, okay. I'm kind of glad about that because getting the spinies in the holes, not the easiest thing to pull off. <laughs> All right. Now about that bird, because I see it reset over there. I want to get rid of that thing before it causes me headaches all day and all night. So let's find... I gotta like line myself up with this bad boy here. Yeah! <laughs> Try it again, since it resets every time I use the warp anyway. And I can always use the pole to get up here, so... Alright, here we go. My feathered friend, you are not really my friend. You are here oh, just to give me a moon. And I'm gonna get that moon, whether you like it or not. I don't really don't know if this is the best way to get it, but it just seems... Because I, like, I have the idea to get it this way, and it's like, eh, it's, it's definitely possible this way. I just kind of have a perspective issue. Mm, yeah! Okay. Now I gotta get that moon in a horribly awkward spot. Ow. At least wasn't damaged from the moon stakes, but yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I wonder if I could get it with a gushin. As a matter of fact, that was probably the intended way of me getting the, uh, the moon anyway, is using a gushin to get to the, the bird anyway. Or not. <laughs> nope. That's a little bit too high there, and obviously I can't just like warp, otherwise the bird is going to reset, so we're climbing up the long way, and hopefully I get it on my first shot, because if I don't, I'm going to have to climb up the pole again. <laughs> Whoa, no, 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 okay. Alright, where's the best place to aim at? Probably off like this ledge, just like running off the edge and wall jump. I mean, not wall jump, but I'm um, long jumping. Yeah, like this. Yeah! Bird rally over the ocean! 
Hate birds like that. Hate birds like that. Alright, so. What is this X over here? Probably some, something like ground pound one of these coral tables or something like that. I don't know. We're gonna see here. Oh wait, there's a hole. A hole? Wait, no, it's not a hole. There's a shadow. Not to be confused with a hole. <laughs> Uh, maybe it's referring to the gap area that was that I was able to go through over here, or I thought, oh, maybe it's not over here, maybe it's at another location, but, uh, I'll take a look-see above, no. Mm, maybe it is ground pounding this, I don't know. <laughs> Any, anything glowing over here? Uh, let's get a good zoom here. So it's actually more like down over here. Like it's not really. Is it moving? No, it couldn't be moving, could it? I guess it could be moving. Huh? <laughs> no, I don't think so. No. Out of my way. Uh, okay. I mean, I know I'm moving, but <laughs> I don't care about the air. I'm looking around. I know. <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. Zeroing in on it here. <laughs> uh. Oh, it's a glowing spot. You could barely tell it's glowing. Oh, that's better hidden than I thought. <laughs> At the base of the lighthouse, <laughs> just because the glow blends in so nicely. <laughs> no, no, I mean at the base of the windmill. At the base of the windmill. <laughs> Alright, so over here is something? Maybe a traveling fish? Actually, it could be plausible. No. <laughs> fish do travel, but this one is just another one of those green stars. Underwater Highway West Explore! Uh, oops. Probably want to warp somewhere new here. Uh, how about here? I'm going to start from the other side now and work my way that away. And yes, I know there's still purple coins to get around here as well. Uh-huh, nine of them. But, but, I'll hopefully find them while I'm exploring for other stuff. Right now I'm just focused on the... I'm going in the wrong direction. Right now I'm just focused on the moon unlocks while I potentially see stuff along the way elsewhere. So, yeah. And here we go. Woohoo! Hmm. Hmm. Well, obviously we've got Pokio here, so you gotta climb and knock stuff into Pokios. Actually, can I climb? Yeah, I can climb that. Okay. Because I thought there's something around the horseshoe perimeter. Obviously, there's gonna be probably something inside blocks. But anyway, I'm just wanna go explore stuff here first before I go and do the main one, I guess, just because it's kind of, kind of, you know, okay, maybe there's not something, something special hidden here, like I thought, I don't know, I don't know, oh, wait, wait, no, that's the twinkles inside the cage, hmm, hmm, oh, wait, wait, I'm supposed to hit one around the perimeter, I think, to get one up over there, Somehow. Ow! Well, yeah, so it was something around the perimeter, but it's not something that's very easy to get to, let's put it that way. <laughs> so I'm just gonna destroy the other blocks while I think about it. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on. Okay, maybe this is gonna take me ten years. Or maybe I just need to hit one at the cage. I mean, I excuse me, hit one at the the ramp there to break open the cage, that would actually make more sense, because the rest of this looks really tedious. <laughs> so let's just go ahead and do that, just kind of break this down, and oh, everything's blocking everything else. <laughs> the enemies are blocking things, blocks are blocking the ramp, and okay, yeah, that seems more plausible. There we go, and now we can get this moon. But the other one, though, I forgot how I trick shot at that. Now that I now that I think about it, aim, poke. Well, I guess that's how I'm supposed to do it for the other one. But I really don't know. I probably gotta do like a like a low 
low-angled one that goes around the perimeter like a golf ball that rims around the edge of a hole and just taunts you. Like this, maybe? Okay, that must have been pure luck. <laughs> or, I don't know, maybe it's scripted. Poke roll! And we're done here. <laughs> I think I'll get, like, one more moon and call it apart, because I think with the cuts it's going to be around the 20 minutes or so, dealio. So let's go ahead and... I guess go over to where the X is on the far perimeter. Oh, that's... It's a, it's a green star, guys! <laughs> sitting there, waiting for someone to collect. At least not not, the, not like above a bottomless pit where you only have one chance to ca catch it and then you... <laughs> Otherwise you have to go back to a checkpoint, which makes the green stars especially bad. So I guess it's not really like a green star. Okay, maybe I should get one more. That was just way too easy. <laughs> um, just sitting in the middle of the hot spring this time. I uh, don't know, could be. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, you, it's it's dead! Wait, I just I wanna see your dialogue here. This that feels agreeable. <laughs> Maybe I'm supposed to get a gushing up here to go above the hot spring. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> we uh didn't just assume. Eh! Just skinny dip. All is well. Oh no! I was gonna grab you. And then automatically just poop over there. Hey, up here. I've seen you come up here before. There, oh. Well. Oh. Okay, fine. That, that'll work. And go here to refresh our heights. And... Oh, I gotta jump out of it? Okay. Rapid Ascent on Hot Spring Island! <sighs> that was a difficult one. Okay, not really. And with that... I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when I do some more exploration. I'm probably going to be forced to go over to the Hint Toad eventually, aren't I? Just to remind myself of things. Yeah, probably.